Well, thank you very much, Ian Evans. So put your hands together. I was resting up in Norseman and resupplying and stuff like that prior to heading out across the desert. So in today's technological age, I thought, I'll just do some Google map directions of the drive, ride in my case, across the Nullarbor. So here's how the Google map directions go to go across the Nullarbor, okay? <laughs> Head north on Neville Parade, 76 meters. Turn right on Mines Road, 115 meters. First left on Battery Road, 700 meters. Turn right onto the Air Highway. Continue 1,195 kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> At the roundabout, take the second exit. <laughs> few other cyclists out there, I met this guy in the middle of the Nullarbor, and as you can see, he's got a very well-packed bicycle. But what I found a little odd when I was following is the golf club sticking out of the back of his bike. I thought, well, I got, I'm pretty much prepared for anything, and I thought, this is a new one on me. I've never really tried cycling with a golf club before. Until, um, until I found that the longest golf course in the world are the Nullarbor Links in Australia. 18 holes in 1,400 kilometers. <laughs> this is a typical, typical place. They call this a town. Okay? What it really is is a pub on a crossroads. And that's pretty much the town. So this was in a little town, and uh, I crossed the Hay Plain, which is another version of the Nullivore, cycling away there, and into a massive headwind all day. I cycled for like 12 hours into this headwind. And I could see the lights of this pub, like a vision, for hours on end without getting towards it. So in the dark, I pulled the bike up, and I put the bike to rest against the side of the pub. And in these windows here at the side, I just looked in, and there were six faces with their noses against the glass, with beer glasses in their hand, looking at me. They'd been watching me for hours coming across the room. Enjoy it. Thanks very much.